Hello, today we're going to go through the first steps with applying for an individual artist grant. Once you've logged in, which I shown in a previous um, email how to uh, video how to log in, then um, you get to this screen that's your dashboard and you hit the apply button at the top and it pulls up this this screen with eligible applications. And then you hit the blue apply button on the right and that starts a new application. So the first thing that you do is select your county from the drop down menu in the county area right here. So there's a drop down and my county is Marshall. So Marshall is on the list and I'm able to apply. So the next thing that you'll do is put in your own last name into the into the slot and then your first name as the grantee um, applicant as an individual. And then you'll put in your address and your city. You wanna put in your full address. I'm just giving an example here. Your state, your zip code, a lot of this information is going to feel like a repeat from what you've done in the past. Now, if you feel like um, when you first logged in and set up your username, it, if you feel like you have actually applied in the past to us, then you might want to put your previous name in the AKA spot to help us out to find you. And then you'll put in your, um, if you have a website for your arts business, put that and your telephone number. Um, perhaps this is your main contact number, your cell phone number. When you get to the next section, you're going to put 01 for an individual and 01 for an individual within this list. Uh, we'll give an example that I am applying in music. So I'm going to put 02 that I'm a music artist. I do um, uh, singing and piano playing, we'll say. So I'm applying in the musical arts as that's what my discipline is as a person. Now, if as a person, I'm actually a dancer and a piano player and a visual artist, then as a person, I would put 14 that I'm multidisciplinary on the list. Select your main ethnicity from, from the list. And if you have anything, a special characteristic, go ahead and, and put that in related to you as an applicant. As an annual, inform, um, annual information, this is for all grantees. So you do not have a, a board of directors for yourself. And your annual arts amount, I would think back to what I made in, in arts, I have it had as expenses this past year. And I'll just put that I had um, $14,300 worth of expenses on my Schedule C. And last year with my uh, music as a piano player, I uh, did a few performances, we'll say. And so then I had about 75 people as adults that listened to my performances and about 25 youth listening to my performances at um, a local venue, maybe a church, or I did a performance at a, a, another uh, fall festival or something. And the annual year that, that that all occurred would have been 2021. And my months that I uh, do is just a person. So then I am January 1 to December, 31st since I am on a regular tax year as an individual. Then you're going to repeat a little bit of information because you're your own contact again. So you're going to put um, your first and last name, your personal email in here. And then your phone number for your for how to reach you as an individual. So you might have a second phone number there that's business, or you might have the same repeated phone number again. The counties that you're anticipating for your project. 
So where do I think my project will go? I anticipate that it'll be in my own county of Marshall and I have plans to do uh, an activity in Polk and in Pennington County too, since I plan to go to Kirkston and Thief River Falls with my activity. This particular activity I'm applying for, even though I'm a multidisciplinary artist, is all within music. So I'm gonna put O2 and the people that will benefit from my music activity are going to be um, white, people for sure, but I'm also going to make an effort to reach out into the Latino um, populations within a couple of those communities. So I'm going to put H there also. And then the age of people that will be coming to see my music performances will be um, children and the young adult ages of the colleges and, and areas um, in my community. So uh, will I have anyone related to these distinct groups? I'm not sure. So I'm just going to put G that no single group um, applies here. Then the next thing, I'm going to make a short title for my, for what I'm hoping to do. And I'll move on to selection. So I have in mind concerts for piano and local youth. All right, so that's my title for now. And then I'll write a longer sentence and that might change my title. So I give a little bit better idea of how youth will be involved in my concerts and what my role will be in this spot. And then I'm going to select the grants for individuals um, button and that opens up the information that I'll put in related to a grant for an individual. So I'm going to pause the recording now and um, allow the next group of information to be in the next in the next recording. So if you have any any questions on what I've provided so far, then um, let me know and we'll get back to you in the next recording on how to move on in the application. Thank you.